It's not often you hear a segment of our population that petitions Congress to raise its taxes. But more than three quarters of a century ago, hunters did exactly that, asking Congress to raise their taxes in order to preserve and protect wildlife in the United States. Keenly aware of the devastating effects market hunting and loss of habitat had upon wildlife, groups of concerned sportsmen asked Congress for help. The result was the Federal Aid and Wildlife Restoration Act, known today as Pittman-Robertson. The law creates a tax on sporting equipment, on guns, archery equipment, and ammunition. Funds collected are earmarked for distribution to the state fish and wildlife agencies for use in wildlife restoration projects, scientific research, and habitat management. Through this self-imposed tax on hunting and shooting equipment, hunters and shooters have generated over $7 billion for the conservation of wildlife and habitat since its inception. And today, through the Pittman-Robertson tax, Sportsmen and women contribute about $3.5 million per day, all to benefit America's wildlife. I wonder how animal rights groups reconcile this massive financial contribution by hunters for wildlife with their anti-hunting political stripes. What do you say, Humane Society President Wayne Pacelli? Cat got your tongue? Even more impressive than the money generated, the results of the Federal Aid and Wildlife Restoration Act are even more impressive. We'll discuss that next time. If you'd like more information on this or other issues that are important to sportsmen and women, or would like a chance to win one of our social media prize giveaways, follow me on Twitter at SteveScottTV or on Facebook.com slash Safari Hunters Journal. Until next time, know the facts and keep preserving the heritage.